Have you ever just made something and it was an accident and it just turned out really cool? Well, that's this. This little thing I call a sauce pitcher and some reason my customers love it. Maybe it's just cause it's really unique. And I actually asked on Facebook, hey, what would you guys use this for? And they answered the call. So at the end of this video, after I show you how to make one of these, we're gonna go over some uses that my customers have that I've heard and also off of my post. Welcome back to Josh Hogarts. Let's go ahead and go over how to make this. So first things first is you need to grab that clay because you can't make pottery without clay. And we measure this out to about a pound and a half and I will put all the dirty details of what clay I used and all the measurements in the description of the video if you'd like to see that. But we're gonna speed through all of this wedging and turning it into shapes because I'm gonna make a bunch of these. And I'm just gonna show you one, that way you guys can kind of figure out how it goes. So the way I wedge is it's just a basic spiral wedge and I just pat it into this shape and I actually call these bullets. Yes, I said bullets, like a gun. Because I shoot them out like bullets. Man, I'm just on a roll. When I'm making stuff in bulk, it's just going by fast. So it's like shooting a gun, I don't know. That's what we called them in college. So that's what I continue to call them. So first you wanna get your bat on there and you wanna get it wet. So the clay sticks, make sure it's stuck on there really good. I use the bottom of my fingers to usually stick my clay. And if you watch my videos on like TikTok, you've probably seen this process over and over again, but it's a little more slowed down from my YouTube channel. And the whole process is on this video. So that's, that's the plus side. So you wanna open your piece, uh, and this is me compressing the bottom, because if you don't compress your bottoms, they can crack out. And then you're just gonna throw this, and this shape is actually a lot less complex than you think, I'm just making a bowl. So with this bowl, we will create something unique. Uh, the first time I actually did this, it was an accident because I messed up one of my bowls and I make these planters and vases where I cut the tops. And I decided, hey, I'll just do that with this messed up bowl. It doesn't match any of my other bowls. And when it turned into the shape that you saw, yeah, I actually just put a spout on it and it handled. And I was like, wow, that actually kind of looks cool. And I ended up making like a little set of 12 and my first show I showed them in, they all sold. So I decided to turn it into a thing. And once you get this bowl, it's gonna go by really quick. You just slice it into it like a triangle and then folding it over. Uh, I usually call these origami pots, but with this, I guess it still is an origami pot because it's folded. And I just add a spout using two fingers, shape it a little bit, and you can just kind of make this unique to you. And this is how I make my handles. And it's just a process that I made that makes them a little more creative, especially with mugs. When I do a plain mug, my handle looks a little different than most potters. And if you want to use this technique, go for it. Uh, if not, don't worry about it. It does add a tiny bit more weight with the handle, uh, but that's okay. I think a hefty mug would be good. So just fold it like this into a belt. That's about eight inches long to eight and a half if you want a bigger handle. And with that belt handle, I just put it on there like anything else. You score and slip, where you scratch it and you put a little bit of slip, push it on there. And then I use my finger to actually make this little place where it's like really stuck on there and it kind of leaves this cool little effect. But yeah, that's all it takes. Here they are. Isn't it amazing that just the simple cuts and folds turns the bowl into an Aladdin looking dish like this? <laughs> And that's a win for the creative process. So like I promised you guys, here's some of the things that people do with these and things I've heard that people use this for. Well, that's it for today, guys. Go ahead and hit that follow and that like button. If you're enjoying these pottery videos, there are more to come. As usual, stay creative and tune in next time. We'll see ya.